guys it's me rubbish ruby that was such an awkward intro oh my god today i'm gonna be showing you how i achieved this makeup look here um i didn't do anything with hair related if you want hair advice i'm not the person to ask but i can try but yeah this is the look that we have today i'm using pinky paradises i or circle lenses look at how beautiful they are do you see that y'all do you see it do you see it enough do you see that isn't that cool I hope you enjoyed the video. Hello, I don't know if I'm gonna do a voiceover or I think I'm probably gonna end up doing a voiceover because I like to listen to music when I do my makeup, but I have the contact lenses in. Hello, I'm doing a voiceover. First, I use this Tarte Shape Tape, I think. The, you know, the, the concealer that was fucking super crazy. Everyone had one. Yeah, mine is very old. <laughs> mine is from that era, but we're not gonna talk about that. Um, because it works and slay so yeah I just put it under my eyes I kind of put it around my nose sometimes too on my forehead and on my chin um, that's just what I like to do with concealer but it's really up to you next this is a kimchi foundation which is really cute I got it for free from tiktok shop but it literally actually is like a really great foundation <laughs> um, it's really high coverage I feel like and I just kind of put that everywhere, obviously, on my chin. I missed my fucking face, like, the side by my ear. I missed blending that out, and it pisses me off so much this whole video. But again, we're not going to talk about it. I genuinely... I'm s Okay, next I'm using a Fenty Beauty um, concealer. Or not concealer. It's a... What's it called? A contour stick. I really like this contour stick. It's the only contour stick I've ever had. But I feel like it blends really, really nicely. Maybe you guys will think it looks crazy, but I kind of like the crazy contour look. I like looking like a crazy person sometimes. And I think that's kind of the vibe. Um, I also like to contour my nose a little bit. I don't really know if it does anything, though, to be honest with you. But, I mean, it does, but, like, I don't feel like it's that... I don't know. I don't feel like it's that crazy. I don't know why I'm goofing at myself right now. But, yeah, I just blend that in. I put it under my chin um, on my jaw kind of and then on my nose and I just blend it out in this video I think I used like a oh yeah this is me blending out my nose yes I know exactly what I'm doing don't even worry about it this is me just blending out my nose I have to I have to go kind of hard I use a small brush so that I can get it more like precise then I'm using powder which you can't see the powder I'm using but it's a Fenty Beauty powder it's like the lavender one I fucking love this stuff. I don't know. I think it's beautiful. It makes my skin feel nice. And it, I don't know. I get a gross makeup feeling sometimes. But this, putting this on afterwards, like on top of like wet products, I guess, makes me feel so much better. I'm also using this old ass Anastasia, Anastasia um, contour thing to just, you know, give a little more definition, get a little more depth in there. I don't really know if it did anything. That's what I did though. <laughs> and then... Um, I'm using this highlighter pillow talk by Ofra Cosmetics. I've had this for so fucking long and it is my favorite highlighter and I'm so scared to run out of it because as you can see it is dwindling but it's so fucking nice and then just so you guys know this makeup is based on a Pinterest photo I found. Um, I'll put a photo here obviously you, you see it you see it that was the makeup inspiration I had. Oh this thing from Sephora is literally insane. You just like do you see how glowy that is on my nose? Beautiful. And then, I don't know what brand this is. I don't even know how to pronounce. Like, I, I can't read it, to be honest. But I'm using this kind of peachy blush. Because that's kind of what the person in the photo that I saw on Pinterest kind of looked like peachy blush. I really like this makeup look. It's giving very dead. <laughs> in a good way. I had no eyebrows. I didn't want to do my eyebrows today. So, we're leaving them naked. Also, drink some water. This is another Anastasia palette, which is super fucking old. I'm using it for this black and brown. And then I also have this Natasha Denona palette, which was gifted to me. Um, I not that I don't have that kind of money, but I'm using just like the nude colors to start a base. And then I'm using that kind of mauve, mauve, mauvey color from the Anastasia. And then I'm blending that into my eye. And then I'm also putting it in my bottom, my lower lash line, because that's just you know it's what you gotta do. And I tried to, <laughs> I really tried to blend this out nicely. And I spent so much time trying to make sure it was like, I always have a hard time with making it look not dramatic enough when it goes, comes to under eye, ma like makeup. Like I feel like I always go really 
low key with it. I really wanted it to pop. I wanted it to be like an obvious feature of this makeup. So I went hard. I really tried my best. I need to figure out a new way to film these two because you can't really see what's fully going on and it's kind of stupid. But we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll work it out together. And then these are two NYX eyeliners that I use. I have been using this for like years. Like I think it has been at least at least five years. I love it. And the way I do my eyeliner is I make a line from the outer corner of my eye out. And then I do the other eye. I like to do one and then the other and not do a whole one eyeliner and then the whole. Does that make sense? I like to do both of them at the same time because I feel like it's a lot easier to make them look like cousins or sisters but yeah that's kind of what I do and then I can do another video too more on like how I do my eyeliner because I feel like I didn't really explain it that well and then I'm just putting this black eyeliner in my waterline because I like the way that that looks I feel like it's a really good look and here I am just adding adding extra on my kind of by my eyebrow because I wanted it to look a little more a little more crazy and then I'm using these Teddy eyelashes. I genuinely cannot remember what the hell brand these are, but these are so nice. So I showed the packaging in case you ever see something that's called Teddy. You know what it is. Um, but yes, I'm just putting those on. Today was like the worst. I had the worst time with my lashes that day. I literally spent probably a majority of my makeup just putting on these stupid fucking eyelashes. I use duo glue though. Duo glue slays. I usually do not have this much issue with my eye or with my eyelashes, but dude, I I was so frustrated this day with my fucking eye with my eyelashes. I'm trying to kind of show you how I put them on, how I like to bend them and make sure that they're like they'll fit perfectly to my eye, but it was it was not my day. So we're gonna skip through all of that so you don't have to see it. Um, and then here's some lip liner. I usually just use a lip liner and then like a lip gloss. So I overline my lips, do the crazy thing, you know, and then I am using, I think a color pop. Yeah. Color pop. So juicy. This is a really nice, this is a really nice lip gloss. I like it a lot. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is, this is the end of the voice I'm over. I hope, I hope it was okay. I hope it was tolerable. Um, good, good day. And that's that's the end that's how you look like this that's how you get this look but on your face please comment down below if you have any like constructive criticism on my videos please feel free to let me know this is my first makeup video in this house ever so i hope it, i hope it's okay i hope it turned out okay i hope you liked it hello patreon if you if you're if you're seeing this you're first you were first thank you for being a patreon um yeah i also stream on twitch so check that out as well if you'd like um <laughs>